How you doing? So this is my uh, 2014 switchback. <coughs> um, we're going to do a sound comparison. How we can get a bit of noise out of this um, nightstick, hopefully. Screaming Eagle nightstick. It has about 16 plates. And the open end cap. Now, I don't have a closed end cap. And I don't intend on getting it. So, um, here in New Zealand, to try and find an exhaust for one is quite hard. Because apparently, if you just use a diner one, we um, come into a clearance issue here. Which we can always bring this footboard out, but... Eh, why? New Zealand here, we make things easy. So, I've been talking to a guy down the need on the way. Um, he's made himself a, a slip-on, uh, his second one actually, and this I was going to buy his straight-through, um, effectively the nightstick is just a straight-through, but what he suggested to me was pull the insides out, um, there's no baffling inside it as such, it's just an insert pipe that runs along to this um, block there where you can bolt on all the plates uh, it's only got one there and one around a bit further it's only on finger tight i haven't heard it without the baffle uh, without the insides in it but having it open to whatever that diameter is should give it a bit of a deep bark now this will still be a cold start up i, I just i just quickly started it to make sure that the battery wasn't flat because it's been parked here for a little while um, I'm recovering from surgery so I can't ride at the moment mind my messy garage like I said I'm recovering from surgery so I can't even clean up yet so this is it here we're gonna start it I'll stand about here give it a few blops on the throttle then go around the back and listen to it obviously I can't rev it up from behind from back there but uh, this is the 103 cubic inch with the nightstick which to me is very quiet so tied of this in it's probably gonna annoy the neighbors I don't know how loud it'll be oh. Oh. the only problem with this I think is we might get a bit of bluing in the um, stainless steel on the chrome here but it's not bluing like I've had this night stick off completely and it's not bluing anywhere else so Grab what you can. Yeah, you get to see what the inside looks like. Because when I took it off the bike, I just looked up the guts of it and I was like, that's just straight through. Oh, it's a little bit warm. And yes. It is just straight through. So now for the first time, hopefully the phone does it justice. For the first time, we are inside a shed. Um, we're going to hear it with nothing in it. We'll either be turning it off rather quickly. Same sort of sound check, I think.
Well, um, that's one heck of an improvement. Oh, I'd so love to get up there and uh, take it out for a ride, but my back, I just got, yeah, I can't. I'll ruin the surgery. Um, I could just imagine what that would sound like opened up under load. That'll be just insane. So yeah, that's just, I love it. I, I actually enjoy that. So now instead of having to buy an exhaust and a tuner, I just need to buy a tuner. The only problem, like with exhausts in New Zealand is they're all in the States, but nobody in America wants to ship here. So there we have it. Kiwi Ingenuity, just pull the guts out, mate. Just pull the guts out. And um, yeah, so if you've got a nightstick, and you think that it's a little bit, um, a little bit weak in the volume, because, you know, we want to make these Harleys sound like a Harley. Well, two little, two little security Allen key bolts, and she's out. Um, this here has still got the cat. Still, still um, fully got the cat in it, so that'll be keeping it quieter again. I don't, I don't, I think with that I'll leave the cat in. Um, if I could find some factory headers. So I can destroy the cat in one of them, and then I can change, chop and change, that's what I'll do, but I'm going to leave it as that. That there, I'm very pleased with. Hope you enjoyed 2014 Dyna Switchback, um, FLD, aren't they? Yeah. Not everyone's cup of tea, but definitely mine. Right, till next time. Ciao.